وَإِنَّمَا هِيَ نَفْسُكَ There is no distance. It's only your nafs. Nafs is a combination of ego and temptations and whimsical inclinations. All of that is called nafs in the spiritual realm. In philosophy, nafs and spirit are synonyms. It's only your nafs that veils you from Allah. Talat or qasurat, whether it is a long distance or a short distance, it depends on the authority which you have on your nafs or your nafs has over you. You may see this example just in, in worldly matters, people who smoke, how much ability they have to control smoking. People who crave something, people who are addicted to something. Where is the will, the power? Does one temptation, one lust of this life drive you to destroy your health? This is un-Islamic. Although it has to do with health, it is un-Islamic. Allah does not want you to destroy your health. You have to have a strong will to protect your life, to protect your being. One of the major principles of Islam protecting health, protecting life. Or you may crave something different, which is a sinful thing. Something haram, Allah made forbidden. Bad habits, bad practices. Also, this is something that you put as a veil between you and Allah and you made yourself control you. We need to be in charge. We need to lead the reign of our life and give our hearts and our spirits authority over our bodies. Let not a table of food enslave you so that you eat till you get overweight, for example, or if you diabetes or something, destroy your health. The same also, let not a squared screen in front of you deduce you and take you away from God or just a computer screen in front of you sitting in front of it looking at women and pornography and here and there enslave you and take you away from God. Get your will and say, I am a servant of God, not servant of this and that. Tell yourself, speak to yourself. No, you're not going to destroy me. I'm not going to allow you, my nafs, myself, I'm not going to allow you to enslave me and lead me to fire, to burn and destroy my life. Speak this 